Yo, what is up guys? We are in the kitchen today. I'm going to go through a full day of eating with you guys. For those of you who don't know, I just did a 40 day fast. Yeah, that's no joke. I literally didn't eat food for 40 days. Lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of muscle. So the goal is to gain a lot of muscle back, but not a lot of fat. So I'm keeping my calories fairly low, even though I'm bulking, my metabolism is definitely lower after not eating food for 40 days. But yeah, I am eating a whole foods plant-based diet. I just believe if you really do the research, a whole foods plant-based diet is the healthiest if it's planned correctly. But yeah, so I am trying to gain back a lot of muscle. I ended my 40 day fast at 157 pounds. I'm up to like 171 now. It's fluctuating a lot. But when we get a thumbnail, I'll show you guys my current physique. I think it's looking not bad. Let's get started with the first meal. So the first meal is just a ton of vegetables, a ton of broccoli. Guys, broccoli has as much protein per calorie as steak. A lot of people don't know that, but Seriously, like per 100 calories, I think broccoli has like nine grams of protein. So I have a ton of broccoli here. This is literally a kilogram of broccoli, like a thousand, a little over a thousand grams. We have 450 grams of cauliflower. Oh, we also have some okra right here and we have some um, onions. I was just throwing a ton of vegetables into the oven real quick. Um, I usually just get frozen veggies. They're cheaper and more convenient. They're already cut up and washed and stuff. This gets me a ton of micronutrients and also a ton of protein. I throw some seasoning on there and also some uh, apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice. And then I throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And guys, while I'm waiting for the vegetables to cook, I'm actually gonna eat this carrot. This is like 100 grams of carrot. I really like eating just raw carrots for some reason. They're like one of my favorite vegetables because I'm starving, all right? It is 5.08. So I usually fast until around five o'clock every day. All right, so the vegetables are cooked. Here they are. Nice and steamy, looking really good. So basically, we're just going to throw these in a bowl, uh, season it, uh, put some mustard on there, and uh, yeah, dig in. Oh, and also I have some uh, pinto beans. This is a half a can of pinto beans, right, that I'm gonna throw in the vegetable bowl as well. All right, now for some mustard. I really like the taste of mustard and also it's extremely low calorie, so it's perfect. Season it with some ginger and some pepper. I will just mix all that up real quick. And there we have it, a beautiful, tasty bowl of vegetables. So this giant bowl of vegetables has 140 grams of carbs. It says zero grams of fat because it rounds down, it's, it's definitely a, at least a few grams of fat. And 61 grams of protein. It's actually my highest protein meal of the day. I get almost half of my protein from all these vegetables. Let's go find some good lighting. I think uh, this giant bowl of vegetables is uh, thumbnail worthy. You guys are probably gonna look at this video and be like, why the f does he have a giant bowl of vegetables in his bathroom? Hopefully that'll get you guys to click on the video. But no, it's just because the lighting is the best, man. The lighting is the best. Here's my physique. It's almost like I'm leaning out a little bit. It's weird, my, as my testosterone level goes back up, I feel like I'm getting a little bit leaner. All right, so meal number two, it's more of just a snack. I'm actually just having this because it's leftovers from last night. It is about one and a half sushi burritos, vegan sushi burritos. So basically these are made out of uh, brown sushi rice and the filling is like spicy tuna filling um, out of like chickpeas and avocado. Super good. Tastes just like a spicy tuna roll, but it's healthier. So this little snack has 65 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and eight grams of protein for a total of 328 calories. All right, so meal number three, gonna have some lentils and quinoa and a little bit of a tomato paste for some flavor. So I actually have been soaking them uh, the entire day. I usually wake up in the morning and that's the first thing I do is soak my quinoa and lentils. So basically what that does, as you can see, these lentils, they soaked up pretty much all the water, but you can see it makes them start to sprout. And what soaking does, soaking your grains and legumes is great because it gets rid of the phytic acid, right? That's an anti-nutrient. Essentially what soaking does is just allow you to get more nutrients out of the same amount of food. We're gonna throw those in a pot and cook those for about 15 minutes. I'm also gonna add some onions. And I'm gonna throw in some okra in there as well, because this is, it's the last vegetable that I have. I need to go through the grocery store. So in the meantime, while I wait for that to cook, I'm gonna make this weird little snack. You guys are gonna think it's 
So weird, but I love it. It's essentially like a calorie-free snack or a very small calorie snack, and it's it's really, really good for you. So, so I have some nori right here, right? Some seaweed, and I have some sauerkraut. So nori is a great source of iodine, right? Which is somewhat difficult to get in a, a vegan diet if you don't know what you're doing. And then sauerkraut is an amazing source of probiotics. So it's really good for your gut bacteria, right? And gut health. So basically, I'm just gonna make some little sauerkraut noi wraps. We're gonna roll those up. And yeah, I'm not even really gonna track these. It's probably like 20, 20 calories or something like that. So not even really gonna track it, but just something to snack on while I wait for uh, my meal to cook. All right, guys, looking pretty good. So then I like to add some uh, tomato paste. Uh, literally just concentrated tomatoes. It has a, a really good flavor to it. I also like to add a little bit of mustard. Mustard's, mustard's my shit, dude. I don't know what to say. I just love mustard. Some pepper as well. And then stir it all up. And there we have it, meal number three. That looks amazing. It tastes great. I uh, can't wait to dig in. So for this meal, I actually have this in a little recipe on a My Fitness Pal. 140 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat, 46 grams of protein for a total of 715 calories. All right guys, so the last meal of the day is going to be some oatmeal. Yeah, I do things backwards. Most people eat oats for breakfast, but I like to have something a little bit sweeter. Oatmeal kind of feels like dessert to me, to be honest. So I like to have it as my last meal of the day. So I have my oats soaking right here. Right here is this interesting concoction. This is chia seeds, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds, and I have these soaking in almond milk. The chia seeds, the flax seeds, they absorb a bunch of the liquids. It makes this like pudding-like mixture. So this is like a this is like a pudding-like mixture that I'm gonna add to the oatmeal. We are going to add a little bit of salt, quite a bit of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon has a lot of health benefits as well. Really good for blood circulation. All guys could use a little better blood flow if you know what I'm saying. Add some frozen blueberries, about 200 grams of frozen blueberries. That'll be the uh, sweetener. And then we will add the uh, chia seed, flax seed, and pumpkin seed pudding concoction and stir it all up. Mm, and there we have it. You can see it turns blue. The blueberries just seep into the oatmeal. Gives the whole thing a nice, sweet flavor without adding any extra sugar, so. That looks amazing, can't wait to eat that. So this oatmeal has 120 carbs, 31 grams of fat, 25 grams of protein for a total of 842 calories. So that was the final meal of the day. So let's check out our total calories and macros for the day. So carbohydrates, 466 carbs. It's a lot of carbs, but purposefully a lot of carbs. 45 grams of fat. All right, the fat is definitely a little low. I usually actually have more fat. Today, because I wanted to eat those leftover sushi rolls, I skipped out on my avocado. Usually I put a lot of avocado with my vegetables. So usually I have a lot more fat, um, but the important thing is just really getting enough omega-3s. We all get plenty of omega-6s. So I actually take an omega-3 supplement. Um, the chia seeds and the flax seeds are really good sources of omega-3s. So that's really the important thing. And protein, 140 grams. So we definitely hit our goal. And you know, it's not a big deal if I don't hit 140 grams worth of protein. Um, studies show anywhere from 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight is optimal for bodybuilders, right? Um, and so I'm cool with just hitting 0.6. And 0.6 grams per pound of body weight, I'm 170 right now, and that's only 100 grams of protein. So it's really not hard to hit your protein goals on a uh, vegan type diet at all. A lot of people really don't understand how much protein is in a serving of broccoli. It's, it's crazy. These are basically the meals that I'm eating five days of the week on my lower calorie days. I'll be sure to show you guys my high calorie days as well. Over the next few weeks, I'll probably be bumping up the calories a little bit as my metabolism gets back to normal. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.